I'm the other side. That's right, last one. Come on, you right here chilling, nigga. You two, pull out sports, bro. Good look. F you, yeah. Yeah. Hey, someone made put a button for the sports people. All right, thanks. All right, guys, Fula coming to you with another video. Shout out to the whole LDBC. Uh, if you like this video, please up like it um, and subscribe to the channel. Also, go ahead and download the app for the LDBC. And you can also go to Lions Den Boxing Community and start your profile there. Uh, a lot of the LBC brothers are going to dislike what I have to say right now because... For the most part, the, 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 the contingent of LDVC, they ride for Charlo. You know, a, a lot of them, uh, I'm probably one of the exceptions that really rides hard for Demetrius Boo Boo Andre. But basically what Ronnie Shields said on a Fight Hype interview, shout out to Fight Hype, basically confirms that they don't want no parts of Boo Boo Andre. You know, at, at the end of the day, you know, it, it was very telling what he said. Uh, he said that, you know, they don't have anything to gain from fighting Demetrius Andre. Now, the thing is, is this, I can kind of understand that because when you really look at a WBO belt, that belt was kind of catered towards top ranking Bob Arum. So I kind of see the point, but I said it in previous videos and I'll say it again, that in order to be undisputed at that division, you have to get that belt. You know, you have to go get that strap. So, I, I don't, as I said before, I don't know what Jamal Charlo's plans are. I don't know if he wants to be undisputed at middleweight, you know, but if he did want to be undisputed or if he did want to clean up the division and take all the belts, that's one of the belts he had to take, you know. And so I say this because his trainer, you know, was talking about the fights that could be made. Okay, well, well, let's well, let's look at the fights that you know exist on on their side of the street that we haven't seen yet. You know, um, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. He, it, Aris Landy, Laura called for this fight. You know, when the rematch with Jared Hurd came fell through, he said, "Okay, give me Charlo then." You know, uh, the lower the the younger Charlo. Or the one at the lower weight class. That never happened. You know. Um, and they're they're both promoted by. Or they're both advised by Al Heyman I should say. I mean. At, at this at this time. There's not really that many pickings at middleweight. On the PBC side. So I mean. If, if there's really not that many pickings at middleweight on the PBC side, then you, you have to like make an effort to keep your fighter active, you know, and maybe that effort involves like, like co-promoting a fight, you know, that is going to be financially and conducive to your fighter. You know, as I said, belts are negotiation tools. Okay. Belts, belts are basically I like to consider a belt, um, what's a good way to look at it, at these uh, championship belts? A good way to look at these championship belts is like leverage. When you have leverage, you're able to do things on your terms and, you know, you're able to reap benefits without compromising yourself when you do have leverage and that's what these belts create so the thing is is that you know you'll see hashtags lions only we want all the belts and stuff like that but i mean there's one belt you have to go get if you want all the belts now you know if if you're successful at going to get this belt then guess what you have more leverage you have more money you potentially become a a a candidate for a pay-per-view star you join Errol Spence in that in that uh category because the thing is is that you know uh 
if you have a WBO belt, although, like I said, it's a top rank belt, and you have a WBC belt, that gives you more ground to stand on, and more people are going to be open to fighting you, because it's like, okay, you have two straps, that way, it's, they may be like, okay, well, maybe I can take those straps off for him, so you will probably end up getting more fights, but the bottom line is, is that, you know, when I watched this interview with Ronnie Shields, his energy totally changed when the name Demetrius Andre was mentioned. You know, for a Chinny Southpaw, and I think the reason why Charlo said he was Chinny is because he did have a flash knockdown when he fought Vanes Monrosian. And that was just because he was rushing into stuff because he was uh, taking off on him. And Vanes beat him to the counter punch. You know, I remember the fight. But... The bottom line is, is that um, it, it, it wouldn't be no walk in the park, you know, and as I said before, I have the fight a 60-40 fight, in my opinion, skills pay the bills, and I just think that Boo Boo Andre is more skilled than Charlo, you know, that's just the bottom line, perhaps uh, Charlo is more athletic, and you know, perhaps Charlo has more power, you know, most definitely, but, you know, I, I just believe that, you know, Boo Boo will go in that thing, box circles around him, and, you know, if, if he fell up to it because of the back and forth and stuff, he may try to get him out of there, now, will he succeed at doing that, I don't know, uh, we'll never know, you know, and, and then there's the other flip side, he can get knocked smooth the hell out by Charlo, you know, that's a big possibility, you know, but we'll never find out because of thing, shenanigans like this. And especially with Ronnie Shields words that he just said uh, on the fight hype. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, the only thing that can be done is that, you know, we can just stay tuned. I mean, if I were Demetrius Andre, because it looks like a Charlo fight is not going to happen. And, you know, I always said that, you know, if this fight can't happen, just put that joint on pay-per-view, you know, and just have a good-ass undercard, you know what I mean? And so, since it looks like this fight ain't going to happen, what I think uh, Boo Boo should do, because this is the grapevine, this is what I hear from the grapevine, I don't know how true this is and how accurate it is, but I heard that, you know, even David Benavidez, his father, wants the um the fight with charlo you know that's what i heard i don't know how true it is but the, this is what's coming out from the, these are the whispers coming out so what if i were boo boo what i would do is i would just uh go ahead and get the butler murata winner you know and the thing is you know murata he holds the one of those wba belts so if he were to get with him and fight him, it's a potential at uh, some more leverage for him, you know, because he, I mean, you know, Murata ain't no slouch. He, he would come there to fight and things like that. He would definitely come to fight. It would be a tough fight for uh, Demetrius Andre. So I think that's a fight that he needs to look for in 2020 and I believe that Marata you know he's associated with top rank and you know the zone and top rank have done events together so I don't see anything intruding upon this fight but the work in the words of words you know Ronnie Shields has just confirmed that you know that there won't be any fight with Demetrius Andre and Jamal Charlo because you can tell with his energy that he really didn't want those that problem, you know, and and I and what can we say, you know, just more of the same thing. It's sad that you know Boo Boo's going through the same thing he went through at 154. Now, granted, uh, I I'll say it before, I'll say it again, I'll reiterate. Boo Boo made mistakes at 154 with pulling out of fights and um, things like that. He definitely did that. But now that he's, you know, fighting more often, now that it looks like he's at a network where, 
you know, I mean, I, I, I don't like him at this network. I don't like him with the promoter, but it is what it is. That's that man's prerogative. Um, it looks like he's ready to go for anybody. But the real thing is, I mean, who wants to step up and have it? You know, but at, at the end of the day, it is what it is. The, you know, these are not my words. These are Ronnie Shields' words that, you know, he said, what is there to gain by fighting uh, Demetrius Andre or beating Demetrius Andre? He's concerned with fights that can be made. And that's just what it is. And as I said on the preview video, I don't know if Eddie Hearn sent an offer or not. But if he did send an offer, that mean, means a fight could be made, you know. That's the thing. But other than that, man, that's all I got. Leave your thoughts and leave your comments on this particular issue. Fuller signing out. Inshallah,